Let's work together!
that's what happens when I get serious. Let's work together. This one's pretty tough. You want to run away? All right, who's next? We're done. drinking all of it thanks Yuri hey do you think we could uh, take five and you say I'm the one always wanting to rest yeah! huh the heat's gone and baked his brains water oh Carol be careful you'll hurt yourself if you fall <laughs> looks like he still had plenty of energy wait up for old Raven and here I thought they couldn't bear to go another step. Oh, I think I'm in heaven. I thought we were really done for. Hey now, you gotta be tougher than that if you're gonna save the world, kids. Shut up. It'll be dangerous if we just keep going like this. If we turn back now, though, we'll only disappoint those poor children. We've got to keep looking as long as we can. If we're lucky, we may even find Pharaoh along the way. That's right. And with this spring, we shouldn't have any trouble keeping up the search. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate. Yeah, you're right. We've come this far. How about your water bottle, Carol? Did you fill it up? Here. 
I filled them for you. Here's yours, Rita. Thanks, Judith! Thanks. Everybody else all set? Yes. All right, let's keep moving. Destroy them in no time! Destruct us! Firework! Azure Thor! I'm a Firework! Uh, deliver my enemies unto me! Destruct us! Firework! Return us shine! Full time! Destruct us! The sign of victory! What the? What are you doing, old man? Uh, you see, I was thinking that there's a pretty odd creature over there. Huh? What is that? Ah! It's Yuri! I thought I was gonna have a heart attack there. That's my line. Hey, don't tell me you're searching for treasure in the sand. What's this? A treasure that I freed hid. This chest? I'm surprised you were able to find treasure in the sand. An adventurer's intuition is even sharper than the right side of a dolphin's brain. Intuition? How unscientific. Oh, but you can't make light of intuition. Seriously? Is that the treasure you're looking for? Nah, this is just rubbish. Besides, finding treasure isn't my goal. It's recovering your memory, isn't it? Aye. And in order to do that, I need to find me grandfather's treasure, the Maristella. Yeah? You still haven't recovered your memory yet? Hmm. Unfortunately, no. But my journey's only just beginning. She sure recovers quickly. I like that about her. Really? I'm like that too, you know? Hey, if we keep chatting out here, we're gonna keel over. Definitely. Patty, why don't you come with us too? Hmm, but I need to keep hunting for treasure. Shut up and just come with us, all right? Alf and Layla's parents don't seem to be anywhere. And with the desert as brutal as all this, odds are they're not holding up too well. Thanks, old man. This hot-as-hell desert was missing a looming sense of dread. How could Kimura just abandon people out here because they got on his nerves? Seriously, let's hurry up and find those kids' parents while we still have some strength left. Right. Don't get sloppy! Hey! Oh, boy! <laughs> Destruct <laughs> Let's go.
This one's pretty tough. Ooh, scary, scary. This is my style. Hey, my challenge! And another! Come on, winner. That's over. Let's go. Uh, are you okay? Uh, uh, it's... it's you. Do you feel better now? Oh, uh, my wife. Where's my wife? You mean this woman? She's right here! Please, hold still. Water. Oh, oh, I can feel the life coming back into me. Oh, that really hit the spot. Thank you so much. We're alive, thanks to you. You're our saviors. Please, it's nothing. We'll have time to relax once we get you back alive. What's the problem? Things will work themselves out. You're pretty crazy to say that in a situation like this. I'd like to thank you for saving us, but I'm afraid I don't have anything with me that I could give you. Oh, please, we don't need anything like that. No, th that simply won't do. Please. Come to Mantake so that I can pay you back for what you've done. Mantake? Wait, are you the parents of Alf and Layla? Y yes, yes we are. Did you see our children back in Mantake? Yes, we met them there. They were worried about their mom and dad. They were even going to come out into the desert to look for you. Oh, this is terrible. We have to go back to them. Don't be so hasty. Do you think you two can go back by yourselves? Well, we... Uh... Uh, that is... <sighs> no, I guess we can't. Then just calm down for now. Hi, that's right. Just lie down and relax a bit. Patty, I think that's taking it a little too far. A bird? In this desert? It sounds close. Sounds like it came from just up ahead. So we'll get to meet him. It's about time. I was about to shrivel up in this heat. You two come too. Yes. Make sure to keep a safe distance. You'll want to be out of the way in case a fight breaks out. Yes, okay. A vast repeat! Stop pulling at my clothes like that! Patty, watch your step. It's dangerous. Whoa! That was a close call. Repeat, you were only warning me. <coughs> Repeat seems to like Patty. Why is that? He just likes kids. He wants youth in them, not gray and stolid. So my age has been the problem. Wait, Patty is certainly young, but that's not everything, right? Something isn't right. Be on your guard. That's not Pharaoh! Yeah, there's something different about that voice. It's not a monster. If it's not a monster, what the hell is it? <laughs> Even repeats frightened. This can't be good. Let's get out of here! It's coming this way! Damn, 
Looks like we have no choice. Out of the way, you two! What it? Is this thing? It's gross. I don't want to deal with it if we don't have to. Come on, guys, fight! I guess we got it, but... Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so dead. I'm not done yet. Oh! It vanished. What's this? Ah, uh, I can't go on! Rita... Carol! No more simmering, dizzying heat and grilling mollusks. I'm afraid even I can't take any more. This isn't good. What? A... a town? That dragon from the Weasand of Kados. <laughs> Go ahead. Hope you choke... on my bones. We collapsed in the desert, and this can't be heaven. Where are we? Good morning. Don't you want a morning kiss? Oh, Yuri. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. How about you guys? Are you alright? 
Yes, it would seem that way. We all collapsed in the desert, right? So what are we doing in this town? Seems like someone came to our aid. Though we're not sure who. I wonder what kind of praiseworthy fellow could cross such a toasty desert and save so many people. We need to find whoever it was and thank them. What about the couple who was with us? They appear to have been brought here as well. So they didn't get a look at our rescuers either? Apparently they lost consciousness like the rest of us. I believe the two of them are having a look around town. I wonder, was it just a mirage? What do you mean? Oh, just before I blacked out, I saw that dragon that got the air under control back at Kados. Really? Yeah. Didn't you see it, Estelle? No, I didn't see anything. Then that monster must have saved us or something. A monster saved us? I can't believe that. Was it just a mirage then? So what's the story? Where exactly are we? A kindly gentleman is looking into that very matter for us. Kindly gentle... Oh, you mean the old man. There's no barrier here. This town is weird. I thought the mountains in the east were supposed to be uninhabited. Rita, Carol, over here. What's that? The monster that attacked us in the desert dropped it. I didn't see any feathers on that thing. That's one of Pharaoh's feathers. But why would that monster have one of Pharaoh's feathers? Hmm. Man, there's so much we don't know. Welcome back. And just why was it up to me to go tromping off on a recon mission? If I'd gone, this sweet young lady would have been all alone with you. That's far too unsafe. Unsafe? You can't possibly mean me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm gonna gag. Suppose I don't mind people thinking I'm dangerous. Adds to my mysterious charm. It seems we're in Jormgen. You know, that town from the diary on the ghost ship. Wait, this is Jormgen? The town that needed the clear seal crystal to protect itself from monsters? It makes sense. They don't have a barrier here. That must be why they were searching for a way to drive away the monsters. But that was a thousand years ago. Yeah, and I find it strange that they were getting by at all without a barrier. You're right. Aye! What if we were to show this case to one of the locals and ask them? Yes, we might learn something about Pharaoh that way as well. I agree. What was the deal with that weird monster we ran into in the sands of Kogor? Just the thought of it still sends chills down my spine. Was that thing even alive? Huh? What do you mean? Well, it wasn't anything like other creatures that make their home in the desert. Huh. Another astute observation from Captain Carroll. Whatever it was, I hope we never see it again. Me too.
That box. Do you know something about this box? Launchy had it. Where did you get it? On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum, too? Uh, yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be... Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. Your love. Damn it. Hey, Carol. Your turn. You're hopeless. Um, all that we saw was, uh, the ship itself. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, my name is Yuifan. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. Is that what's in the box? Yes, we came to deliver this box to you. I, I see. Hey, is that the key? Could I have the box? Wow, is this the clear seal crystal? Looks like it. It's so sparkly and glittery. A treasure even more beautiful than sea sparkles blooming on the surface of the ocean. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a Blastia. Blastia? Uh... But we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the Blastia at Emid Hill in Kerbakram. But I don't think that sage guy is the one who made those Blastia with messed up formulas. I... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really understand. But the sage said that the clear CL crystal was needed to create the barrier. So long she set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? You must be worried. Wait, this sounds weird. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? How old is she anyway? The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. They say that history repeats itself. But who really knows? Is that Sage in this town? Where does he live? Oh, yes. He lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the Sage. Yes. Maybe so. Um, if you're going there, could you take the Clear CL Crystal to the Sage for me? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go! So after all we went through to cross the desert, we can't meet Pharaoh. And after you've all risked your lives to help me... Maybe it's better that we didn't find him after all. Yeah. If we had to fight him now, we probably wouldn't make it out. Think about it though, Pharaoh can fly. He's free to be pretty much anywhere at any time. Tracking him down will be a tall order unless he's got a lair somewhere in the area. Ugh. No one's saying that meeting him will be impossible. We might get some information if we ask around in the town. You're right. Thank you, both of you. Excuse me. Huh? Hey, that's... You're... Who exactly? We've run into each other a couple times. You. How have you come to this place? 
What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? No matter. For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier blast here, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any blastia. Who would even consider building a barrier blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an apatheia? The treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the sage. Huh? No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! <laughs> It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock! Oh, man. Just when I found one. The Apatheia bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? That's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal... The Apatheia needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Please. Tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend? By Endelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a child of the full moon? What is this power the child of the full moon possesses that they despise? That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the child of the full moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait, there's something I want to ask you too. What were you doing at that Air Crene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Where do you get off? Rita. Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Brave Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named child of the full moon. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, 
and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean like becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous Emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. It's too complicated for you too, old man. Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals? Apathea? I'll Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apathea myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. <laughs>